Hi guys, and welcome back to Leslie Through the Looking Glass. For those of you that are new here, hi, my name is Leslie. For my returning viewers, as always, thank you so much for coming back to support my channel. It really means so much. All right, guys, I am back with another Mental Health Monday. Um, I'm apologize now if you hear any hysterics in the background. Um, we're having a bit of an afternoon in our household. Um, I'm not sure what is going on the last few days, but we've had lots of very big tantrums and fits in, I think it's an overtired thing, growth spurt thing, but she won't nap. So she is on like, I don't even know, 45, 50 minutes of screaming herself into a tizzy in her bedroom. So I'm just letting her do her thing and leaving her alone per her request. I have tried to talk and reason, um, but there is nothing else I can do at this point. So I'm just going to try to take 10 minutes to film a video before we move on to the next challenge of the day. Um, and just my brain is a little fried, so I apologize. I did think it is mental health month and I talked before about how I was going to try to like make some topics and stuff like that. Um, one of the things that I feel is severely lacking in helping people know that they are having symptoms or signs of a problem. Um, I also brought myself a cup of coffee, you guys, because... I only had one cup this morning and I need it this afternoon. Um, but it's great that we're saying, oh, we want to get all these mental health resources out there and, you know, you can be really aware that these things exist, but when you're going through it, you have no idea. And so the things in place need to be really solid for them to be helpful. Um, and I really hope that that becomes a focus of some groups raising awareness for mental health and like figuring things out because my anxiety worsened incredibly after having Amelia. Um, my doctor actually originally, I mean, discussed postpartum anxiety with me and that's how I ended up figuring out what's going on and getting help. And then my diagnosis wasn't really postpartum anxiety. That's kind of what like tipped the scales into not managing it at all on my own. Um, but I went to all of my post baby doctor appointments for myself and I took Amelia to every one of hers. I had to fill out surveys at all those appointments. Not a single one of those questions applied to an anxiety-based postpartum situation. Um, and quite honestly, not even really like, I mean, they focus on postpartum depression, which I get is a big concern as well. Um, but the questions were also very extreme in my opinion. Um, and like I said, only screen for what appeared to be postpartum depression. So there's all other factors of postpartum, like mental health crisis that can involve anxiety, OCD. You know, there's other components of our mom brains that don't adapt well. Um, and those things are just not even on the radar. And those can be just as life impacting. Um, and it's just crazy to me that in this day and age that there isn't a better evaluation for new moms out there. Um, and on that same scale is when you go to your annual checkups and you go to your doctor, Those things aren't being screened for, you know, they check your blood work, they check your heart, they do all these things. Why are they not helping check for mental health as well? Um, because like I said, I, you know, 
I of all people would have thought that, like, from the outside looking in, I should have caught what was going on, right? So I have a history in healthcare on the human side. I worked in situations where I dealt with patients with mental health issues. I was a strong advocate for mental health in general. Um, you know, I had been in therapy before for other major events in my life. I, you know, if anybody was ever going to like catch on to the fact that maybe they were struggling, in theory, I think it should have been me. And I had no idea that that is what was going on. I truly thought I had a physical health issue. Um, and thank God I was at a brand new doctor who did not know me at all. Um, but that I had heard wonderful things about and thank God that she picked up on things in that half an hour appointment that led her to ask more questions when my blood work came back and figure out what was going on and get me on the right track. Um, I'm always so grateful for that because I don't know if that hadn't been caught, what would have happened? Um, if I had a doctor who wasn't in tune to, you know, those things, if I hadn't spoken so freely about what was going on, you know, there's so many things that could have changed the outcome. Um, but I am forever so grateful to that doctor because I don't know that that's something any old doctor would have put together or found as quickly or not required a bunch of more testing before we got to these other things. So I just, my biggest thing for getting people the help they need is helping them realize they need to get help. When you are in those moments, you don't realize that's what's going on. Um, not always, but for a lot of us, like no clue that that's what, I had no idea that my anxiety could be causing such physical change to my body. Um, and I just feel like those things should be educated better and screened for better because it could really make a huge impact in somebody's life getting the proper diagnosis or the proper help versus guessing or doing $9 billion in medical tests when it's something else that was overlooked entirely. And just like we screen for all of these other things in our checkups, why is that not something to screen for more in general practice medicine? You know? So I just am curious. And maybe I just didn't have doctors in my life. I never regularly went to the doctor, like for yearly checkup, um, as far as like a general practitioner. Um, I went to like the OBGYN every year. Um, for those things that needed to be done. But I'm curious if any of you have experienced with doctors that are now screening more for those side of things versus, um, you know, only getting caught if somebody else realizes they're going through the struggle or gets so severe that they're seeking help for other stuff. Because it just should be, I feel like. I think it would be so much better if for people if they could get on track before things get to a really extreme point. But that is just my PSA rant of the day. I, <laughs> I hope that everybody is just doing well. I hope we're all going to have a good week. Um, if you have any questions, please, as always, drop them in the comment box below. Like I said, I would love to know if any of your doctors have started screening for mental health or you seem to think that they like ask questions targeted towards that. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys next weekend. I actually will have a box swap posting. Um, so that is exciting. I am working on some Disney videos. I was hoping to get one up this past weekend, but we have just been busy and on and off sick and things kicked my butt. Um, I started making a cocktail making video. Um, and didn't even drink it yet this week. So, because I didn't feel good. 
Um, and then this weekend was really nice out, so we were outside a ton and just didn't get as much stuff done inside. So I will be back next, this coming weekend for sure though, with a box swap that I'm hosting and I'm really excited about for Mother's Day. Um, and then we'll see after that. Hopefully I'll get that cocktail drink up soon. I have a couple more cocktail um, little videos I was thinking about doing as well. Um, and I'm hoping to do some more Disney vacation planning tips and tricks and packing things and different stuff. So stay tuned for all of that. And I will be back next weekend with another Mental Monday. Have a good week, guys. Bye.